What's going on, bros and brosies? Welcome to another episode of Bro Time. You're probably wondering who this guy is, and uh, frankly, I don't know who he is. You know, I was just sitting down to record an episode of Bro Time. We're going to talk about some movies, and uh, he just he brought along. Is that, is that Zaxby's? Yeah? Yeah, it's Zaxby's. It's Zaxby's. Really yeah, he brought along Zaxby's and he's uh, sitting down. Uh, yeah, so what you're doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm shooting a video for my channel. You know, it's a, it's a channel all about, you know, my, oh, me and my brother, love and passion for movies and our, on our journey to be uh, filmmakers in our own right one day. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad? Yeah, you, you do skits or? No, yeah, I, I do skits. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes when, when it when it works out, it's kind of hard to do skits over long distance. We usually interact over Skype, but and you know, we try, we try, we try. Uh, make, what's what's your name, sir? I'm Bob. Oh, Bob. 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 Well, how you doing, Bob? You doing all right? I'm doing well. How are you uh, doing? What, what's your name, sir? My name's Eric. Nice to meet you, Eric. Nice to meet you too. You 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 wanna you wanna talk about some movies? Ah, uh, sure. Why not? I'm just yes. gonna eat my sandwich. But eat your sandwich, and we'll talk about you know food and, and movies. You can't you can't beat that. No, you can't. And Zaxby's and movies, even better. Anyway, uh, you know, I thought we I'd talk about you know a go-to movie that that I really like. Like no matter how many times I watch it, I can go back to it, and it never gets old. You have one of those? Probably. Yeah. Probably? I think so. I think I think I got one. You got one? I got one. Lay it on me. All right. You you seen the you seen the mummy, right? Oh, of course I've seen Brennan the mummy. Brennan Fraser? Yeah. Many men have wasted their lives in the foolish pursuit of Hamanaptra. Most have never returned. I think you found something. <laughs> was great in that movie. I loved it. I've been watching it since I was a kid and no matter when I see it, I have to stop what I'm doing and actually watch that dang movie. It's so good. And you still laugh at it. Oh yeah, still laugh at the jokes, still... It's gotten to the point, I've seen it so much, I can actually start reciting the words to it. You can cite it. Yes. And you still laugh. And I still laugh. <laughs> and you still laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, like, I, it's been a while since I've seen The Mummy. I just... Um, I, I remember thinking, what, what exactly am I supposed to, uh, like, what, what's the tone of this movie? It's like Indiana Jones meets some kind of goofy satire. <laughs> yeah, it's like... It's like a comedy Indiana Jones, like... Yeah, basically. It's like if Indiana Jones had a little bit of slapstick in it. That's a great description. <laughs> <laughs> or a little more A little slapstick. more. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it, it's a good movie. Um, yeah, Brendan Fraser is just the, the perfect amount of goofy. It's like goofy and serious at the same time. <laughs> and he, ba he balances them really well. Yeah. And, and it's a great cast. Uh, the locations are great. I, I love the story of, you know, the mommy coming back to life. Absolutely. The VFX are crap, but, you know, hey, you know back in the, the 90s. Day, it was it was the, the 90s. 90s, yeah. VFX weren't too great back in the day. <laughs> um. Star Wars prequels? Star Wars prequels. That's another episode. That is. That's about five episodes <laughs> right there. <laughs> That's five episodes right there. Um, so, so what sticks, what, I mean, what, what resonates with you for, for The Mummy? I think it was just the, uh, man, I think it was the cast, really, like, just their comfortability with each other, the way the characters were written, they were so well developed and they had so many different like di dynamics and stuff going on. Like, even though you, you knew they knew what they were talking about, they were still real people. They still kind of were goofy and messed up sometimes. Sp specifically, the interactions between O'Connell and Benny. Yeah. Now, those were <laughs> always hilarious. It's like, well, O'Connell, at least I'm not on the, uh, I got all the horses. Well, Benny, at least I'm not on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> and then, you know, he takes a minute. He looks around. He's like, dang it, O'Connell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the one scene that stuck in my mind when I watched it was the uh, the uh, emerald insects. 
Oh the, yeah. The roach looking things. Uh, the scarabs. Yeah, scarabs. the scarabs. He puts them in. And even for the time, that, that looked that, was pretty, that, was pretty that looked bad. Like, like even, even I was, I'd watch it and be like, "Oh, that's harsh." When it's crawling <laughs> up his face, and, and like he's going crazy and just runs into a wall and dies. Yeah, this <laughs> <laughs> yeah. goes nuts. You have unleashed a creature that we have feared for more than three thousand years. Is the bringer of death. He will never stop. That's a good choice. I've got one. What, what's yours? Uh, one movie I uh, I always watched all through growing up. Yeah, you know, back in the day where you, if you wanted to watch a movie anytime you wanted it, you recorded it on TV on VHS, <laughs> and you'd have to pause record for the commercials and then hopefully hit it right back so you don't miss any of the movie when it came back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did that with this movie. Twister. Oh my gosh. Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. May he rest in peace. May he rest in peace. Rest in peace, Philip Seymour Hoffman. You, you're missed. You're not watching this, but yeah, he, maybe he might be. He might be. He might. There's like, hey, they're talking about me. Like every time somebody says the name, just someone said Philip Seymour Hoffman. <laughs> hey, it's that guy right there. See those two guys down there? They're talking about me. Hey, Phil. Hi. <laughs> Hey, Bob. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, oh yeah, Twister. God, it starts off, you know, with a bang, with the, with the, with the tornado killing her father. You know, you know, the little girl who plays, the, you know, the, the plays that little girl in, in the beginning? That's Alexa Vega. Are you serious? That's yeah. actually Alexa Vega? That's Alexa Vega. Wow, she grew up. She grew up. She grew up hot. Very. Machete kills. <laughs> machete kills. You want to know how hot Alexa Vega grew up? Watch Machete kills. Watch Machete kills. There's one shot in particular. It's about you don't miss three it. seconds long. Yes. And they even throw in a little funny musical chime because <laughs> they know what you're paying attention to. Still thinking of it. Mind, <laughs> mind blown. <laughs> Just... But yeah, the the same thing with, with, with Twister. The 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 character chemistry with, with the main cast. All these uh, all these you know rogue weather people and these beat up vehicles with no funding are out chasing tornadoes. And and of course it, the movie would not be complete without Dusty. Mm -hmm. I mean, Dusty was the lifeblood of the group. I mean. How, how many times, when you think about that movie, do you start quoting Dusty? It's the wonder of nature, baby! And I, I, I so wanted the, the cup. He's got the cup with the straw. Oh, the yeah! <laughs> I so wanted to put one of those in my car, and he's got all the monitors and, and, mm -hmm. and crap in the back, and he's just jamming out. And I, I, I love how he's just always like, hey man, taking the vows is sweet. <laughs> he's so chill until like the storm shows up, and he's like, yeah! And he breaks out the VHS camera, he's like, oh my god, take a look at this! You can really feel the intensity! <laughs> We're hitting on v early VFX. The tornadoes, they still hold up. Yeah. 
the VFX toward it, especially the last one. Oh my god. It still yes. looks believable. Hell yeah. It still looks great, even by today's standards. And it was, it, you know, most of the stunts were done practically because, again, VFX, back in the good old days when VFX were in their infancy and they were used to supplement instead of do whole movies, Star Wars prequels. Again. Uh, <laughs> Instead of just doing the whole movie on green screen, back in the day of practical effects, which yeah. we're, we're getting back to. We're getting back to practical yes. effects. Yes. The, the hybrid of practical effects and VFX. VFX. J.J. Abrams, keep it up. Keep up the practical and fill it in with visual. We support you. We think Star Wars was amazing. And against all the haters, Star Wars Into Darkness was amazing as well. Ooh. Yeah. Star Trek, okay. Star Trek, yeah. You, I'm, I'm crossing over. You're crossing over. Yeah, I know. I mean, he's doing both. I, I would love to see a crossover right there. Just, just Star throwing that out there Star now. Star Wars and Star Trek crossover. That would... I'd go and see that. I don't care if it's bad. <laughs> Han... Wait, huh? Spoil, <laughs> spoiler alert! Han Solo's dead. <laughs> <laughs> You've probably seen the movie by Probably now. seen the movie, and if not, I'm sorry. But yeah, Captain Kirk and Luke Sky... No. Captain Kirk and uh, and and Rin. Oh my gosh. Or er, R- R- Rin. Why did I say that? Finn. Rin. Rin and Ray and Finn. That's their child. Rin. Rin. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Finn and Ray are gonna get together. And they're gonna call their name. <laughs> Rin. <laughs> I'd call that just the name of the ro- ro- romance, like Brangelina is just called Bren. It's, it's, Not Kylo, there, there's no affiliation. There's, there's no... <laughs> Ray and Finn. Rin. Rin. No relation. How did we get so far off topic? And bringing it back around. Bring it back to Twister. <laughs> Did you ever notice when the tractors are falling and one one of the combines uh, uh, slams down and the and the feeder arm swings out, it breaks the windshield? No. <laughs> Truck. <laughs> I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. Okay, next time. Watch out for that. So yeah, Twister and the Mummy Saga on Blu-ray. Go check it out. Well, Bob. I, I've enjoyed this conversation. Yeah, same I, here. I, I, I enjoyed talking about movies. We need to run into each other again sometime. Yeah, it'll probably happen. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'll be out here shooting. He'll s- s- sit down next to me. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. But, no, seriously, this is my good friend, Delore. He's uh, he's an awesome guy. Thank you. I, I, I think he's one of the funniest men I know on this planet. Aww. No, seriously. Yeah, seriously. You, you, no, no yeah. you, you, you're hilarious. Thank you, thank you. Uh, there are times he'll have me rolling to where uh, I'm just convulsing and there's nothing coming out of my, my mouth because I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. I'm just holding my gut. Uh, 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 my goal is to try and make him puke. I haven't quite gotten there yet. Haven't gotten there yet. I haven't gotten there yet, but when he does, I will just give myself a high five and pat on the back. Pat on the back. You know. <laughs> Buy yeah. myself a sandwich. Like one of those XP sandwiches. Like one of those XP sandwiches. Absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you again next time on Bro Time. Y'all take it easy. <laughs> you had to do it. Had to do it. <laughs> see you guys.